Hi everyone, it's Terry with the Cover Chipboard. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, uh, this is This and That Unboxing Thursday. So I have a couple of packages to unbox. Um, I already went ahead and slit this, but I haven't looked inside. I believe this is from Target. Looks like it is, so let's see what's in it. Um, I'm going to start doing these every, or I think it's every other Thursday. Oh, it's books. Will we get new books? I knew I did this. Okay, so earlier in the video, I'm going to scoot this out so you can't see the other one in the box. Um, I did a review for the Hazelwood that I just finished reading, and I didn't realize it, but I bought two of them. I bought a hardback and a paperback. This is the paperback. There's a little difference in the colors. This is really pretty. Let me get the other one. Same image, just two different colors. The, um... The hardback has uh, silver and gold on the outside, and this one has a turquoise and lime green. Oh, makes me want to keep both, <laughs> but I don't need both. So, I think this is going to be in a giveaway. So, if you're interested in reading this and you'd like to get it free, stay tuned. Um, I will probably post about that on my blog, and um, I'll figure out something to do for a giveaway with this. Very nice. It's even pretty on the inside. Really nice pages. A few illustrations. And it tells you about the next book coming out, The Night Country, which should be here any anytime or sometime soon. Um, I ordered, I think I ordered all three books. So um, keep that in mind. Let's see what else is in here. Ah. The guest list. Put that box over here. So this is one that was on my to be read list. Um, the guest list by Lucy Foley. You'd kill to be on it. So, ooh. An exclusive wedding on a remote Irish island. The bride, the plus one, the best man, the wedding planner, the bridesmaid. All have a secret. All have a motive. But only one is a murderer. Ooh. I think that's going to be really good. So, it'll go on my uh, TBR list. And I'm going to be showing those on um, um, my website. So, there's the two we came, got today. Um, on my website, I'm fixing to do... My old planner doesn't work for what I want anymore. My digital, digital planner. So, I'm going to be... Um, getting a new one and getting that set up the rest of this week. I'm not sure which one I'm going to buy yet. I'm looking at two different ones, but I'm talking to a lady because I actually found one after looking for three days, I think. I've narrowed it down to three different uh, journals. But one of them is not only a planner, but it also has uh, a tracker for books and for reading. So I'm really excited, and hopefully it'll do what I want. It looks like it will. But um, though I'm going to do a post on my blog um, about it later, probably towards the end of the week. It might be the first of next week. I don't know. No videos next week because I have to work on Putt's House monthly things. So there's two books. Don't forget about the giveaway possibly on that. Let me get these out of the way. Diamond Art Club. So, I'm excited. I can't even remember what is in here. So, we'll see. It's a big box, and it looks like it's big ones. So, if you're not familiar with Diamond Art Painting or Diamond Art Club, they do really nice uh, Diamond Art Painting canvases. Probably the best on the market, I think. I didn't think that at first until I did um, several from several several other places, and now I'm hooked. I'm a Diamond Art Club. I might do some of the others here and there, but um, one thing about Diamond Art Club, they only use um, licensed artwork. So an artist does get paid. The uh, art has not been ripped off anywhere. So that's a good thing to know. And you're not only supporting Diamond Art Club, but you're supporting... Uh, a small artist, probably. Maybe some big known artists. But, um, it tells you what the kit contents are. 
and uh, most of them come with your tools that you need. Most of them come with, you know, well, I guess all of them come with your drills, which the little gems that stick on are called drills and a tool kit and the canvas. And uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, no, this one's not it. This is Cottage by the Sea. Let's see. Hopefully you can see that. I hope it's not. I might want to get some more light over here. Let's see if that helps a little bit. And hopefully you can see that. It's a lighthouse. And I really love this. If you look at this on their website, there's a little road here and there's cobblestones. Let me open it and see if I can get you a better picture of it. This is so big I can't get it on my desk. Oh, there we go. Whoops. More goodies. Okay, this is a large one. Here's a better picture. Now maybe you can see it. I love this cobblestone walkway on it. And the old house. And the lighthouse. This is uh, Cottage by the Sea by Chuck Pinson. It is a square shape, which I don't normally do, but I'm not opposed to it. It's 29.1 inches by 21.6 inches. It's a pretty good size. 74 centimeter by 55 centimeter. <clears throat> this comes in every kit, and this is a sticker. So if you keep a, a record of your diamond paintings, you can add this into your, stick the whole thing into your, um, your logbook. It has a color list, which is a number that you go by. These are the symbols or the codes, and then the DMC color code down the sides. This is also good to hang on to this when you're working. Um, you'll see Saturday that I'll be using this when I'm working in um, on my current diamond painting. Then there's a tool kit, standard tool kit. Well, not standard. I love these little bags they give you. They're really nice for storing things in. Oh, so you get some little baggies, which I never use. Um, a drill tray. You get two things of wax. You'll get a pen, drill pen, and it comes with a multi-placer on the end, and then a little squishy for your thumb that slides over the end here, which helps. You'll really appreciate that. And a pair of tweezers, nice tweezers. So there's our tool bag. And that's standard with every Diamond Art cl Club kit. So nice, and I, I keep these little bags to put all kinds of things in, they're really nice. So let's see what the canvas, oh, and here you get a tiny sticker as well. Some people store their drills separate from their canvas um, once they open them. So this is good to put on whatever you're storing your drills in. So that comes in handy. It's just, just a nice option. Oh, let me see. Let me get this off of here. Oh, this is a big canvas. I'm not going to be able to show the whole thing. I want to get the drills out first. Oh, here's your little instruction, step by step. If you've never done a diamond painting before. So their, their kits come with everything you need. You don't have to have any question about how to do anything. There's also a gazillion videos online. Ooh, lots of drills, but look at those fall colors. Mm, this'll be a nice one to do like in, oh, maybe October, November. Although, if the other one is what I think it is, pretty, pretty colors. Really nice drills. I don't see a lot of them sticking together. I don't see a lot of Um, trash in them. Sometimes you can get kits from other places and your drills will be really bad. They'll be all different sizes. They'll be stuck together. They'll have little nibs on them. But these look really nice. I don't see a lot of... I don't know if you can see that. I don't see a lot of... Uh, hmm. A lot of... What am I trying to say? little nibs on them. So your drills come with the color number. 
So like on this one, it says 3864. If you look on your um, key here and you look up 3864, it's symbol A and it's number 43. And that's how they package there. So I'm going to keep those over there. And let's look at the canvas. Always their canvases come with a key code printed on it on both sides. Oh, look at this. You can't see the whole thing. There's no way I can get it in there. Look at the tree and the sky, the little house. Really nice. Here's the cobblestone walkway. The lighthouse. Really nice looking canvas. Really, really nice. And I love how their canvas has, it's really soft on the back. Um, so it, it lays out, I know it comes rolled up, but it will lay out flat pretty quick. But they have kind of this sparkle to them. I don't know if you can see it on their canvas. And it's also in the drill space. It's kind of sparkly. You don't really see that when you're done with the diamond painting, but it just makes it kind of fun to work on. Um, just adds to the experience. There's never a lot, a really wide line of adhesive sticking out over here. Um, the symbols are super clear to read. Hopefully you can see that. So, that is going to be really fun and going to take a while. Let me get this all rolled up because I keep all of mine stuffed together. I don't um, separate things. Let's stick all this back in here and I'm going to put this in here and roll it up inside it. Hopefully I got this rolled up tight enough it'll go back in the box. But I keep all of mine in the box until I get ready to do them. Alright, same thing, little sticker. Same exact toolkit. Halloween Haunted House by McNeil Studio. This is a 31 by 22 inch inches, 79 centimeter by 56 centimeter, 42 colors. Look at that baby. Is that going to be fun to do or what? Uh, let me get the plastic off of this. And we'll look at this one. Okay. Yeah, I've got it right side. Ooh. Look at the little pumpkins. And I love the wrought iron fence and the spider webs. There's a light over here. And I think this has some AB in it for the light, if I'm not mistaken. It doesn't say so on here, but I'm thinking that it might. Oh, Lordy. Oh my goodness, look at the drill package. <laughs> There's a bunch. I don't see any ABs. I was thinking that there were, but now I may, may be thinking about something else. Tons and tons and tons. Again, a square one. <laughs> I may hate myself when I'm done. Um, and I can't use my ruler. Um, maybe I have to get a square ruler for one. Really pretty, pretty drills, pretty colors. Um, instructions we don't need. I don't keep those. So, like I said, you can't see all of it, but I'll try to start. Let's see. The, here you go. You can't see all, but we'll get close. Mainly the house. This is going to be awesome. And I think I'm going to do this with a fabric backing. I think I'm going to sew a fabric backing and make it like a wall hanging. And where I can hang it in my window for Halloween. I don't know. You know it would be really cool if you could do it somehow and light up these windows in it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what I can come up with. I think it'd be awesome to light it up somehow. 
So let's stick all the stuff stickers back in here. <coughs> Pardon me. And roll this up some. So that's it. So we got the two diamond paintings. Um, I will start this Saturday. I have my first um, whip and sip. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get a drink of sippy sip here. Um, okay, that ought to help. So, um, I need to stop saying um all the time, don't I? I'll try really hard. That's something I have to work on. But let me know. I'll put the links to all of these in the description box below. And let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you're doing this one or if you plan to get it. I think it's awesome. Just super awesome um, for Halloween. It'll be really fun. I don't know how long it'll take, but... Take it easy, be happy, be safe, be kind to others, and thanks for watching.